Hello, my name is Jay, and welcome back to my tech vault. Today, we're going to be talking about the Ryzen 3000 series. Basically, what I want to do in this, today's video is talk about what happens if Ryzen lives up to expectations. All the rumors um, turn out close, if not exactly, to what uh, we've been seeing, and the processors turn out um, pretty much spot on, as I said, to the rumors and leaks, which looks like a very possible, likely outcome, so we're going to make this video. So one thing I do want to talk about is the value of clock speeds. And if you look at these leaks and rumors, clock speeds are very high. Um, they are exceptional. And the clock speeds definitely put Intel out of the water. And it, even if Intel slightly beats AMD, uh, based off of the leaks that we can see online, um, they will definitely beat them in total core count clocks um, and definitely get a higher score in multi-core uh, performance, especially when most games commonly or currently uh, actually end up um, using more than the one core. It ends up using like two or three. I definitely think that if the leaks, at least in the single-threaded performance, um, and maybe IPC turn out to be spot on, uh, I definitely think that Intel especially with the latest set of performance affecting security issues. If those end up, you know, still being unable to be fixed easily uh, and still offering such a substantial performance hit, especially with uh, AMD having a substantial like 5.0 or 5.1 gigahertz is what some of the leaks are suggesting, having a clock speed that high and still offering that substantial performance, I think for the first time in the last couple of years, we may end up seeing something substantially better uh, from what we've seen from Intel. And I'm not just saying by a little bit, substantially better, especially when the rumor is on the block that a 10 core Intel processor is coming out. And even with Intel's 3D stacking technology, I don't know the exact name of it, I apologize. Um, but even with that 3D stacking technology, I still think that it will be very difficult for Intel to come close, especially still being only on 12 or 10 cores. Now, if you look at AMD, they're offering green to supposedly, according to these leaks, be offering 12 and 16 cores. So that really raises the question of, well, what really happens if AMD does, you know, do such a great job on these processors? So first off, here's the immediate side effects. Number one, uh, Intel will definitely be, uh, for a short time, still be for every AMD processor that's sold it will probably be about even on you know AMD to Intel processors sold for a little bit uh, and then it will start getting to the point where I have a feeling that if AMD is able to keep up this momentum not necessarily the Ryzen 3000 generation but they may end up getting a lot more partners f to buy their processors because of how good they do in the 3000 series if the 3000 series is a hit they'll have a lot more to bargain with and say hey we can outperform Intel so therefore, there'll be, of course, a lot more partners interested. So you may see Ryzen processors or AMD processors in the near future showing up in a lot more systems. Uh, Apple or something, for example, would be a big one to score. But you really start noticing that if they do a good job on this, it's really going to end up uh, trickling down into future generations. Well, yes, there'll be immediate sales benefits for, from the enthusiast PC market and maybe, of course, a couple pre-builders. You won't, of course, see something... Um, a little bit down the road. It will be a little bit uh, in the future that we'll actually see the effects of this more substantial. A lot more profits for AMD down the road, and especially at 7 nanometers. They can do a lot more um, with it. And of course, those, they're continuing to expand down to smaller nanometers, uh, smaller manufacturing sizes. But this really sets a boundary of hey, AMD is really competitive, and therefore, you need to look at our products. Now, the next. The final thing I want to talk about is what happens if AMD is so substantially blowing Intel out of the park, uh, which they probably, according to this will, or even s uh, slightly, that AMD is the clear-cut winner for gaming and workstation tasks. Clear-cut across the board. So really, we want to take a look at that. So first off, obviously, if AMD, as I said, immediate effects would be that AMD outsells Intel. The next thing would be is innovation. Now, regardless of who you are a fan of, well, probably because you're watching this video, you might be a little bit more leaning towards AMD. Me, I personally don't care. I just look at performance. But depending on who you're a fan of, I personally think that performance really matters. But if you look at it from the standpoint of just performance, AMD will clearly outbeat Intel. And so a Intel, of course, will be forced to innovate something 
or at least try to catch up and especially still being on 10 nanometers or I think that's what they're going toward now or I think they announced some or some leak came out with 14 nanometers again I got no clue what nanometers they're on but even if Intel does something close but slightly below what AMD offers they've really got to come up and innovate something um, and I guess the quickest and easiest way to do that in the CPU market is to go through and add more cores. So regardless of who you're a fan of, the result, immediate result, or one of the results from the processors being substantially better than Intel or slightly better than Intel is innovation. And we all can agree that's something that we all want to see, especially in the CPU market. Innovation is substantially um, driving the PC market. And for the last couple of years, especially with the four core, eight thread processors, we haven't really seen much. And now all of a sudden we've hit Ryzen and Ryzen's really pushed Intel, uh, in my personal opinion, to innovate a little bit more. So we can definitely see this again if Ryzen turns out to be really good. I have a feeling we could see a much better, um, we could put a lot more CPU cores in the average consumer's computer. But thank you very much for watching. Thank you for joining me this, for this discussion. Um, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Let me know your thoughts and comments and stuff down below. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this release. Um, but thank you all very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.